Artemis, it's called the Propapelion. So to get to the Temple of Artemis, you have to go from here through this beautiful gate. It's like Hadrian Gate. There was like a bedment, a broken bed on the top, the main entrance in the middle, two bits to the right to the left, with a seashell and a small bed on the top. And then seven steps, then long step, seven short steps, long step. This is like an uh, easy way to go up or down. If you go up, seven short steps, then you have a long one, you can rest. If you continue just going up all the way, it will be tiring for you. And number seven was a holy number also. And these in the back were all shops. And there'll be another gate on the top where they're standing, where we stood earlier. And then behind you, there's beautiful stones with lovely decoration. You see them here? With the, the leaves decoration and the egg shape. And there's a granite pillar there. See the granite one? There's a column there. And that's the church. It's the only church which was built on the, in the east of the Kadr. So what do we call it? The East Church. The East Church. Archaeologists so aren't no renowned for their... Um, <laughs> So we call the Yeah, from Dominion. <laughs> <laughs> like Australians. Fountain, you know, like the Nymphium here. And the top there was like a half semi dome in the top. And there were statues for nymphs coming out from the rocks, holding jars and the water coming down, filling like a big pool in the back. So the water later on comes out from the, the holes. You see the holes? Which were heads of lions from their mouth. So we have seven heads of lions. And then the water goes down there. There's like water channels with dolphins. If you go there, you'll see it. So this is like the public area we call it, the fountain. The Romans come and refresh themselves. And this middle thing, the round thing, was added later. They believed it was used by Byzantium for baptizing. So you can go there and have a look. And you see the holes in the wall, there's for the stucco, for the white cement, for decoration. <laughs> this is a different style from the north of Trabinium, okay? Because there was no big dome, just at the top, like this uh, square, pillars on the top, and four pillars. And then decoration at the top, and with niches. So, if you time meet in the bus, you would like to meet in the bus? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Just keep walking, and let's say we meet in the 10 minutes is enough. You need yeah. 10 minutes walk anyway. Yeah. Well, that's just good. <laughs> <Ten minutes. laughs> because I thought the guys will be there uh, 15 or quarter past five. Okay. So they'll be there. So it'll be late, like five minutes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's it's a bit like. Uh, uh, <laughs> the main gate for the site wasn't the main gate we came through. The main entrance was from here. There was like a bridge, did you call a bridge? Yeah. They cross from there, up on top of the, the, the tunnel or the, the trench. They come through that gate, then there was another gate here, another gate here. This is a defensive way to have more than one gate. If they come through the first one, there was someone to get through the second, the third, and the fourth. Right? This would be the stables because the most important thing for the knights was their horses. So the first thing when they come is with their horses, they leave the horses here. This was seven floors. And the corner there to the right and here to the corner here, this is the north tower we call it. Just in the back. The north tower and they're doing the restoration. And then we have the south tower. So those to the west and the east, it was a big drop, they just put them the walls. But in the north and the south part they built, they they they, they that the, the church for the town to protect them. So it was a real fortress, it was difficult for anybody to attack them. Now the style of construction you will see is two styles. You see Crusaders and Islamic. The Islamic, the Mamluk style we call it. This is the big rocks here, this big rocks, these are Crusaders. And the roof here, this is the Mamluks, the slave. And if you notice over there, just the right the roof, there's like stones, these are called the bedrock. They use natural rocks or natural stones at the foundation of the building to support the building also. And if you look at the top there, there's holes. This is to connect this floor with that other floor also. And later on you see more holes to connect the, the lower part or lower floor with the upper one. And also for ventilation, for light and for air. This is wherever they go, they want their soldiers to feel at home. No home sickness, so they always make them for the tables, the kitchens, the schools, every the dining room. So it's like they are at home and the families with them, especially when they are surrounded for two or three years. So must, they must have everything inside the castle. The main source for the water was rain, so they were collecting water. So we have a water system here, water channels and reservoirs everywhere. This is the tower I told you about. They're doing restoration here. You can see. 
statue in the corner. You can see the statue. You see the statue later. They're presenting like a soldier seat. And there's like a horse in the back. And there's like an arrow. You can see it in the picture there. You see it? They say this might be the statue of Salah al Din or might be the, the funeral ceremony of the Nabati warriors because the Nabati were here. Nabati from the. The whole city, where the whole fortress, where the whole castle. You can see all those in the back of the work. The little stones there in the corner there, there's like a big hole with the channel. That's where they make the holy wine, the one the grapes, and the lids comes and then goes through the channel. And just see to the right there's a small room, and there's the oven, the big oven for the whole fortress. So you can have a look with them and we meet outside there. When you come out, just come and go check the soil. Room. Room. So one minute, please. One minute. The main oven is there, and you can see the chimney up there. Unfortunately, the forest has been damaged many times. So they're doing restoration some of this. They've been restored. Here. I maybe just picked it up and it didn't look as bad, but I was around 2001 and so on. I'm buying second hand uh, travel guides. That's a bloody new one. That'll teach me. Huh? I'm complaining that even the new travel guides are significantly out of date. For the sunrise, all right. And later on, another chest was added down there. You went there, you saw the, the, the niche down there. There's a nice view from here. No, oh, she's <laughs> <laughs> He surrounded this for two years and there was a wedding. And they sent him a message. We were having a wedding, stop attacking. He said, okay, I will give you a week. And he gave them a week for the wedding. Just if you look around you, it could be different for anybody to attack them. Especially with the crowd right now. By the way, I ordered this. 